Hey guys, it's Chris from Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. In this week's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how you might be able to utilize sweepstakes to help you save or win a trip to Walt Disney World or somewhere else really cool. So let me backtrack this with, um, I guess all my life as an adult or whatever, or even as a child, if I saw an opportunity to enter some kind of contest or sweepstakes, I put in a ballot, right? Just one. <laughs> because I thought that that's what you do and and sometimes that is what you do and um my brother one time went a bike and uh I just never really won anything but I always just entered you know just in case you can't win if you don't enter and uh when my husband and I were in South Korea the very first time I ever went to the commissary the grocery store over there there was a ballot box to win a car and I put in an entry for me and an entry for him which as I became married that was my new thing to do one for me one for him and uh, I was able to win a car yeah I said win a car <laughs> so it's a very different time zone over there and one night in the middle of the night I got a call from someone in Dallas telling me that well, they started asking me all these questions am I able to shop at the commissary do I remember doing this and he said well I said dude it's like the middle of the night he goes well I guess anytime is a good time to tell you want a car I said ah and then he told me it was sponsored by um 7up and um Dr. Pepper and Mott's, they're all a thing. And I asked him, I said, he told me it was a smart car and I wasn't sure what that was. <laughs> they were pretty new. So this was 2010. I looked it up and I saw it's little and I go, is this going to be covered in like decals for this um, brand? And he said, no, <laughs> you get to pick which one you want. And I said, okay. And um, so anyhow, that was it. And uh, I was able to pick up the car in November when we went home to visit our family for the holidays and I went to the dealership and the guy really was trying to sell me on this car. Anyhow, um, once I got the title, then I took it to CarMax because I was pregnant with our second baby and I did not need a smart car. <laughs> and I put that money towards um, paying off our car at the time and we bought a van when we came back home. So anyways, people win these things. That's what I'm getting at. So I, I was under the understanding that people can win. Um, but I never really did anything much after that. Same kind of thing. If I saw sweepstakes, I entered one or two. If I got an email thing, um, I entered. But never, like, on a consistent basis or anything like that. I, I didn't know that that was, like, a thing. Until um, March of this year, Speedway gas stations in the Midwest, and there's some in the South, um, have um, Speedy Rewards program and they offer sweepstakes where you can use your Speedy Rewards points that you earn for making purchases there, um, five points per entry to enter to win um, different things every month. And they, um, in March, were offering, I can't remember if I told you guys about this before, but they were offering, um, a, I think it was a five day, four night stay, uh, yes, and um, 21 day passes, which really was enough for four people to go five days, and a $500 Speedway gas card so that you could have money to get down there. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. I would love to win that, and we could use it for our trip, and wouldn't that be so amazing? And so I purposed that month, instead of saving my points for a gift card, to spend every point I had on that. Well, as I'm getting excited about that, I start wanting to search on YouTube and say, well, has anybody ever won a Disney sweepstakes before, right? Because, you know, you hear about these things all the time, but I don't know anybody who's won one, but I know that people win things. So when I searched, I didn't find anyone who had particularly won a trip, but a woman said that she had got a hundred dollar target gift card as a consolation prize from a Disney sweepstakes. And then she went on to say about how she had won over 70 prizes and she used this website and she was a sweepstaker. And I'm like, what? That's like a thing you could do. And so then I got really excited and I started looking into like how to increase my odds. And so, you know, smaller ones, well, really, even though these were open to almost all the states, only people really have Speedway card can enter. So that eliminates some of the people. So I then I saw I could, of course, do a mail-in entry, which is always available when you're doing a sweepstake. <clears throat> so I entered a few um, mail-in entries. I think I entered this contest almost 300 times, like 290 times. And I was for sure I was going to win it. I just knew I was going to win it. I was making my plans. I had my trip all ready, and I didn't get it. 
but that's okay because that had lit the fire in me to start sweepstaking, not just for Disney trips, but for other things. And that's how, like last week, I mentioned I got a $10 gas station gift card. And this week, just a few days after that, actually the day that I filmed last week's Mickey Money Monday on a Wednesday, <laughs> I got the email that I had won round trip airfare for tell for night hotel stay for four people round trip ground transportation from the hotel to this event pre-game experience and a bunch of other things that I'm going to tell you about to next year's NCAA final four games in Glendale Arizona I get access to a fan fest to a welcome event um, a souvenir and I get to bring um, three people with me once my husband and I've chosen to bring, um, two of my sisters are married and their husbands are big sports fans and really good friends with my husband and I, and I have three brothers and three sisters and I just couldn't really decide. And so I thought that that was my best, most fair option was to choose them. Cause I know we're all going to have a really good time together. Um, but yeah, I won this opportunity to go have this like once in a lifetime thing. And I'm so excited, so excited. So what does that mean for you guys? What does this mean for this? I'm going to include in the description box below um, links to a blog where um, she lists specifically Disney deals or sometimes universal deals, um, but sweepstake opportunities uh, that you can enter to win. Uh, sometimes it's one time, sometimes it's every day, sometimes it's multiple times per day. If you can use uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, different things, read the rules. Um, sometimes it's one entry per household, sometimes it's one entry per person, and so you and your spouse can enter or your adult children or people your mom or whoever and this is where that robo form filler that I mentioned um, when we were talking about registering for the run Disney races it's free it adds a little bar to your um, screen it doesn't have like ads and pop-ups and stuff there's just a bar all the time and when you go to enter a uh, sweepstakes you um, click your name or your husband's name or your mom's name or whatever and then all of the information fills in very quickly for you and once that information's filled in, you still have to um, say that you're a real person a lot of times by clicking the CAPTCHA button or entering a code. So it isn't robotic in the sense that it's going to fill this out sub, you know, and do a bunch of bunch of them for you. It just really fills that out. It's much faster than typing the information out. Um, but that's that's easy. So. Um, I have two ways that I keep track of the sweepstakes that I'm doing. One is I have a bookmark. I have one special just for Disney sweepstakes. And then I have another one that is for other sweepstakes that I find either the, via my own um, Google searching or Bing searches. I often search for Indiana resident sweepstakes so um, or Indiana restricted sweepstakes. So you could search for yours. Or sometimes I just search for sweepstakes and I want to look in the closest time frame. So within 24 hours, a week, sometimes a month, um, just to see what's out there. I've found a few sweepstakes that don't even start until like June. And so I've bookmarked those so that I can make sure that I'm entering them right away from beginning to end if I can. Um, and so I keep track of them there. The other thing that I do is I go to this website that the woman suggested called sweepstakestoday.com. There's another one called Sweetie Sweeps, Sweepstakes Advantage. Um, but because they often really show all of the same, um, I, I've created accounts on the other ones, but I pretty much stick to, stick to Sweepstakes Today. I like it. Um, they update it re pretty regularly. I've created a lucky list, which is pretty self-explanatory. When you find a sweepstakes, that's like a daily or 24-hour or even weekly or monthly entry, and you're interested in that prize, you can add it to your lucky list. And then every day when you get online, it will tell you um, when you can submit again. If it's uh, red, that means you can submit. If it's green, that means you've already submitted and it's not time for you to submit again. 24-hour uh, entries have the time that you last submitted so that you know when you can enter again. Things like that. So um, my, my best things to say are make sure you read the rules. Uh, sweepstakes for things that you like to win because potentially you're going to have to pay tax on big wins. They've already told me this prize that I've won is worth $7,900. It's that's counted as income, approximately 30% taxes, over $2,000 in tax um, that I'm going to be responsible for, I'm hoping in 20, you know, end of 2017 tax year, since that's when we're going on our trip. Uh, and so then like when I won the car, I was also responsible for the tax on the um, 1099 form that they sent me from that too. So 
if you really, really, really want to win a car, and if for cars, then understand you're still going to have taxes. If you really, really, really want to win a trip, it's going to be a great way for you to go on an awesome trip that's going to be less expensive, but there are still costs involved. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're soup staking for things is that there there's a, a financial responsibility at the end of the big wins, um, but still it's worth it for these once in a lifetime opportunities that you have. So anyhow, back to this week, I have saved not very much this week and that's okay. $14, uh, $10 for my kids free kids meals at Chili's and $4 for um, the cost of, they had coupons for free um, ice cream at Culver's. We went out for a celebration for the end of the school year for us. So that was where I saved that money this week. But I wanted to just let you guys know that this is a thing that people do and I've already won at least two things. It, it takes a while. You have to, like, if you started now, it's almost June 2016. And so a lot of sweepstakes run monthly or sometimes um, for a few months. Like some of the sweepstakes I'm entering right now have ran from like January to the end of June. Um, some of them run until the end of the year. Um, but just go out there and see what's available. See what's on sweepstakes today. Do some Google searching. See what's available for you in your area. And don't be afraid of mail-ins. That's how I won this trip was I found it and I did the mail-in entry option. I don't particularly like um, mail-in entries that require you to send a self-addressed stamped envelope um, unless you're really, 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 really interested in that prize. Uh, usually why you would have to send that in is to get a code um, to enter the code in online. But there's so many other um, ways. Like I sent a few of those off for different things and all my codes said, sorry, you're not a winner. Um, like Juicy Juice right now has Finding Dory sweepstakes and you can actually email them once per day and request a sweepstakes entry that way. I like those. And I, with this one, um, you could have entered up to 100 times. Well, I didn't like, A, it was at the end of the thing and I wasn't willing to spend 50 bucks. I, I can't remember around 10 maybe entries I sent in for this one that I won, but they were just single entries, three by five cards, whatever information that they wanted. Um, but I wouldn't probably send in $200 worth or, you know, $100 worth to do a self-addressed stamped envelope a hundred times unless you really, 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 really want that prize. So just keep those kinds of things in mind. If you have any other questions, please make comments below. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I'm sorry that this is late. Again, I think I'm going to try to change my filming time to um, maybe Saturday instead of Sunday and try to run my mental um, week from Sunday to Saturday and um, then let you know on Monday what those savings were because I don't want to make a habit of this. We were very busy yesterday doing uh, some tree trimming and yard stuff, but you guys don't care about that. You just want your stuff. So I, I really hope and I'm encouraging you guys, if you have the time, make 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 10 or 20, 15 minutes, you know, to um, enter a few sweepstakes and see what you can get. Like I said, $10 so far and this awesome trip. And I haven't been sweeping very long. So people win, you can win, but you can't win if you don't enter. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.